Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I know it's been a while. I just, you know, it's really hard for me to find time to film. So I'm thinking of just doing like two videos a week now. Sometimes they may be free. I just, you guys know that I don't have a set schedule, but I think two every now and then free if I have time. I'm so glad that you guys liked my previous skincare video and I'm just gonna do my post notification shout out today. Um, and I think today's one goes to... Right, I think today's one goes to Khadija Dida. So thank you so much for your comment. I love you too, boo. Yeah, if you wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment and I just choose anyone, really, who shows some love. Right, so as you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Kevin Aquan Concealer, which is right there. Can you believe this little pot costs so much? So I've been always wanting to get this, but hesitant because of the price of it. And I just didn't know if I wanted to, because I did swatch it once and I couldn't find the right shade, so I kept putting it off. I swatched it when I was in IMAX like three or four years ago, so yeah. I don't know I just kept putting it off so yeah it was there was a huge sale on Beauty Bay and that's where I got mine from so it's 38 pounds 38 pounds for this thing right, so it says online that it's a multitasking skin enhancer to get even flawless looking complexion ideal for use as a concealer foundation highlight choose one shade lighter or even mix with moisturizer for a lightweight skin tint with a soft focus effect Honey and jojoba oil combined to nourish the skin for a healthy dewy glow, making this ideal for channeling the ever on trend gym skin beauty look without having to break a sweat. I have been trying this a few times because I really wanted to see how to work with it because the first time I used it was a bit too light. Oh, by the way, I got SX11. I'm an NC43 MAC, I would say. NC43 would be my color, yeah. Because NC44 is way too orange for me. 330 and Fenty Beauty. I'll make a list of all my other shades in the info box so you guys can have a quick like reference. I know it is really helpful to have that. But yeah, I have been using this quite a few times because when I used it the first time, I think it's too light. I mean, the tone is nice. It's a nice yellowy colour. I'll do a quick swatch for you guys. But yeah, it's a little bit light for me to use on its own. And can I just say, you need the tiniest amount for this stuff. Like this, I use a little dollop and it's almost covered my whole hand. But can you see how it's a little bit lighter on me? But when I used it under my eyes, um, it went a little bit ashy, I do have to say. So that was the first time I used it and I went out and stuff. And it didn't really sit well on my skin. Um, let me just apply this on its own. I literally use the tiniest amount. I mean, even right, even with those little tiny dots, I think I put too much. And yeah, so it didn't sit well on my skin. It was really like separating. I put it a little bit in other areas where I had blemishes. I put it a bit on my nose. It was cracking so much because my nose is like the driest part of my face. When you first apply it, it looks so beautiful. I mean, even right now it looks all right, to be honest. But because I didn't have any foundation or anything, I just put concealer on it. It looked very, very light under my eyes. And I realised with dewy concealers, because obviously it does mention that it has oil, it really highlights that dent I have under my eyes. I have very hollow, like, under eye areas. But yesterday, I've used this like three, four times now. I mixed it with my Maybelline Age Rewind. I know it's sad that I have to mix it with another colour, but because this is a little bit on the warmer, darker side, it kind of darkens the concealer just the tiniest amount, enough to how I want it to be. And it just stayed on all day really well. There's only slight clear creasing with this. Like, honestly, the creasing's not an issue. It's just how it was sitting on my skin and the shade. Now the shade above this one is a bit too pink for me. The shade below is way too light. So I don't want to get the darker colour. It's not like, it's not like I don't really like the tone of it. So I'm really happy with the shade. Although, even right now it looks nice. I haven't even tried it when whilst wearing foundation. I barely wear foundation these days, it's so weird. But 
And when you have to wear it all day, every day, you just want to let your skin breathe, you know? So I just put on concealer. Now, if you look at the difference, that did pretty well. So I'm just going to show you with a little bit of my Age Rewind. And a little bit of this. And just mix the two. I think this mixture is more ideal when I don't have foundation on. And they work really well together. I mean, I've never done this for a review before. I know I'm not supposed to introduce another product while reviewing a product. Like, you're supposed to use it by itself. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been doing when I don't have foundation on, just to make it a bit more like my skin. Can you see how this is much more yellow, much more lighter, this is more a bit more balanced. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, I prefer this to this when I have no foundation, but I can wear this when I have a foundation on. Like even when I put some on my forehead, it was really separating. I don't know if it's just that my skin doesn't like it or what, but I feel like for the price it should be working better. I mean, I would, I definitely still think that my Tarte Shape Tape is the way to go compared to this, you know? Um, yeah, it was definitely separate. I put some on my chin, it was separating. But when I had this side on with no foundation, I could definitely see like too much brightness under my eyes to the point where it was a bit ashy. Um, and I didn't like that so yeah with the foundation you can wear it on its own I'm gonna use some of my Huda Beauty powder in Blondie just to set that in place I need to wash my brushes definitely does work better if you set it because when it was separating is when I didn't really set any other parts of my face with powder and it was really not liking that on my forehead and my nose but when you, um, I, it does have a separating issue, that's all I have to say. Because when I put, for example, my Maybelline Age Wine on my nose, it does not budge. It stays smooth, whilst this concealer definitely moves around a lot. Like, it, it cracks. And it's weird because it's got oil in it. I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's just me. I know a lot of people swear by this concealer, but with my skin, it's just like, it, I feel like it doesn't really like it that much. But I'm still going to use it because I, I did like the way it looked yesterday when I went to work, so I don't know. Right, so I'm just going to do the rest of my um, makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm now back, done the rest of my makeup. It's super simple, I don't know why. Um, I'm just about that natural look these days. I just wanted to show you what's going on with the concealer. like. This side is like, uh, it's good for me, like it, it works fine and I like the result, but this side, it's already starting to go dark on your inner corner and it's like fading away and going weird. It's also cracking on this side, which is so weird. I mean, there's not a problem with creasing, it's just the way it's sitting on my skin, you know? Like here, it's kind of like fading away. This one has just stayed the way I like it, but yeah don't like what's going on here wash my hair the day before yesterday why is it oily overall i feel like this concealer does not crease it doesn't crease much on me to be honest it does have really good coverage like i already showed you guys that the only thing with me is just the way it's sitting on my skin and i don't know if that's just with me i know a lot of other people that love this concealer like kosher beauty and i skin face beauty loves this stuff will i keep using it yes because i do like the way it looks like especially when i mix it with the maybelline one i like how yellow it is i love the coverage i like that it's hydrating um but not on its own i for me personally i don't like it when it's on its own personally i'm gonna give this a six out of ten and that's not a bad rating it works it's just my personal rating, okay? I'm not saying that it's a bad product. I just feel like it's a bit overpriced for the results I'm getting. I get, like, I spend, like, £22 on Tarte Shape Tape. And it works perfect for me. And also, it's like, I feel like they have a lot of pinky shades. I, I think they should expand the shade range. Because I don't feel like there's a lot. The one above this is so, like, rosy. Like, that is not, I'm not putting it on my skin. But I've been using it this whole week. And... 
I haven't had any issues apart from the first time when I wore it by itself and it just looked awful. The Maybelline one I wear it as a foundation in caramel, but under the eyes I mix it with a bit of tart shape tape. So I'm kind of doing this, I'm doing the same with this one. I used to love like super bright under eyes and I feel like now I'm just kind of going away with that. I just like it a little bit bright, not too much. So, and that's normal, like my makeup preferences change over time. So I wear much less now. And I really like the way it looks. I love that my skin shows free, you know? I wouldn't say I'll go out and buy this. Get it if it's on sale. I got this for £24. I don't mind that. I'm happy that I got this for £24. But if I spent £38, I would have been like, well, like I spent £40, like, £40 on this and it's not working like the way I want it to, like exactly how I want it to, like the Tarte Shape Tape. It's got good coverage though. And if you can get a shade for your skin, I see how this would work well, I guess, because it's nice and hydrating. But because my skin's super flaky and dry, especially around here my nose, it kind of attached to it. I hope you found this um, review helpful in any type of way. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I feel like I can't speak. <laughs> I do have to say, like, I don't know how long this will last me because you only need the tiniest amount. So I guess for £40, you're getting a good worth out of... You're getting good worth... You get, you're getting good worth out your money, I guess, because you only need the tiniest amount. This would last me for years. If you want to wear it as foundation, I think this would really go, go well. Or mix it with like a cream or something, like they said. But I think the shade is not that great for me. I mean, if they expanded the range, I might look into getting another one. But because this is lighter, I can only use it for under the eyes and highlighting purposes only, so yeah. That's all I have to say, guys. If you want me to review any other products, let me know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.